six schools in Arkansas are moving ahead with an AP African American Studies course, even though the state says it won't count towards a student's graduation. The state's education department warned schools not to offer the course on what was the first day of school for many districts. Joining me tonight is Dr. Ivory Toldson, the Director of Education Innovation and Research for the NAACP. Dr. Tolson, uh, I want to play something for you that uh, the Arkansas governor, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, said about this on Fox News, and then I want you to respond. Take a listen. We cannot perpetuate a lie to our students and push this propaganda leftist agenda, teaching our kids to hate America and hate one another. How do you respond to the assertion that teaching African American studies is teaching children to hate America? Yeah, it's really absurd. Um, Arkansas history and black history are intertwined. Um, the history of African Americans in Arkansas um, paved the way for us to dismantle segregation across the entire nation. So for her to imply that children teaching, our children learning African-American studies would somehow indoctrinates them, uh, it, it really shows you how she is otherwise, otherwizing black people. Uh, she's using white privilege to perpetuate this narrative that you have a black history that's separate from American history. Uh, and it's really um, sad to see someone with her position do that. Can we just talk for a second about this idea that teaching black history, the yeah. history of black people in this country, which is in fact American history, mm -hmm. is somehow indoctrination? Yeah. And, you know, it's a political stunt. She's talking to the lowest um, part of her party that is believing that if a child goes to school, and learns about other races, learns about some of the um, more disappointing aspects of American history, that that's going to make them less American. It, it's really a view of what it means to be a good American that's completely out of step with where we need to go. Uh, we're talking about someone who has not condemned insurrectionists, people who actually try to dismantle our democracy. She doesn't have a problem with them. She's not saying that they're indoctrinating, but she's saying that black studies indoctrinates mm. a curriculum that could make them be their best self and work to improve this country, she's saying is indoctrination. You know, I, I, I want to bring in someone who knows a little bit about this all too well. Yep. Joining us now is Minnie Jean Brown Tricky. Mm. She, she's an activist and one of the Little Rock Nine. Little Rock Nine is the group of black teenagers that was met by the Arkansas National Guard when they tried to walk into an all white Little Rock school in 1957. President Eisenhower had to send in U.S. Army troops to make sure that they could attend classes there. Minnie Jean, thank you very much for being with us. It is an honor. What is your reaction to what What's happening right now in Arkansas? In Arkansas and across the country, I think we're in the midst of American tragedy. In 2023, we're banning books, we're banning courses, uh, we're challenging thought. And unfortunately, that makes me very sad. I think um, those policies are damaging to all of us, to all our children. I think I think really um, when talking about propaganda and using very strong words like that, we aren't even considering our children and how much they need truth and demand truth and want truth. So I feel very often that the people who are making these policies aren't even connected to their own children or to the needs of young people in our country. I think one uh, phrase that I really like during, at one point, Little Rock was being watched by the whole world. Mm -hmm. And I can assure you this situation is being watched by the whole world. I'm yes. feeling 
Yes, yeah. no, That's... I think you are absolutely, I, th I think you're absolutely correct. And I know earlier this year, you uh, talked about why you went to Central High School. And you said that it was because they didn't want you there. Yeah. Now Central is one of the schools pushing ahead with this course. What, what does it say that in 66 years we have gone from fighting over whether black people can get an equal education to fighting over whether people can be taught about that very history? Well, it's a catastrophe in the modern era, um, in my opinion. I don't know why people think they want to go back to some old days. I'm not going back. I have no desire to recreate the experiences I had at Central. But when I first signed up to go to Central, I thought that I could interact with the kids there. I was excited about that possibility. Uh, I learned very much later that that wasn't to be, but we can still talk about what our aims are, how we, we want harmony, we want equity, we want peace, we want to learn, we want to be knowledgeable. And our children want that. And we need to know that. And we are diminishing the growth and the, everything about our young people by doing these things. What most concerns you, uh, Miss Minnie Jean, about what is happening across the country right now as we discuss, you know, teaching the history of this country? Well, uh, this uh, education week, which is an educational publication, says that 44 states have developed some kind of draconian policy or are thinking about, you can't teach about race, you can't teach about gender. You So what kind of society do we want? Is it, does that make sense in a democratic society to have all this censorship? Um, it makes me feel crazy, actually. Mm. I concur. Dr. Ivory Tolson and Minnie Jean Brown-Tricky, thank you both very, very much.